There's been sailors who have died on it from scurvy and cold and lunacy. Apparently it's siesta time for the harbor seals. Pretty good if I do say so myself. I'm Tammy and this is my husband Scott. We are two artists who traded in our home and art studio for a home studio on wheels. Along with Gracie and Jasper, we've hit the road full time in search of new landscapes and inspiration. And we'd love to have you join us on our adventures. Just another day in the life of an RV dweller. We ran into Gold Beach to pick up propane and shoot, I don't know, we might kick around and even act like tourists. This has been one of our stomping grounds while we've been full-time RVing here. You are standing at the mouth of the nationally famous. <laughs> no, we're standing at the, yeah, that's what it says. We're standing at the mouth of the world famous Rogue River. I don't yet know why it's world famous, but I will find that out. But at the right time of year, you can ride Jerry's Rogue River Jets and they have different tours up the river. It looks super fun, but we haven't been able to do it this year. But next time we come back, we will. And also when we came in the fall, the salmon fishing is epic in this river. There's just fishermen up and down with their boats and we would bring home fresh salmon that they caught that day. Pretty amazing. The Mary D. Hume, the ship, I mean, it's been all over the world. It's been, it has. It, it's spent time in the Arctic. Um, it was used in the whaling industry. There's been sailors who have died on it from scurvy and cold and lunacy caused by privation. Their bodies were <laughs> stored on ice. I mean, that's not funny. Their but... bodies were stored in ice on there until they could get home to bury them. And aside from all that, kind of horrible history with the dead bodies. Thanks for that, babe. She was the longest active commercial working vessel in the whole Pacific coast. And here she sits right in Gold Beach. Apparently it's siesta time for the harbor seals. They're rolling around and sunbathing and snorting and grunting at each other. have a cute little gift shop and we just might need a new hat or two and there's also a cool museum in here of the Rogue River Do you want some more fresh crab? No, not after last time. If you haven't seen that video, you gotta watch it. We're not getting crab. <laughs> he has no cartilage in his ears. He can't hold even hold a mask on his ears. <laughs> what do you have fresh? Well, we have the black rock and the rock. rock are fresh. And I'm just about to go back to the refrigerator. I think I have one more pan of rock. That was our local fish market where the fresh fish catch comes in. We've been having fun going there and getting our local fish and cooking it up. And tonight we're gonna do lean cod. We've never done that before. I mean, it's gonna take nothing at all to blow that right up. Well, once you get your hair trimmed, it no, it's too shallow. 
No, look. You can't have mine. Oh, my... that one totally fits me. No, you can't have my it hat. Totally fits no. me. No. Oh, there's my Ford hat. Yeah, see, now that, that fits. Scott's hat doesn't fit, so he's taking it back. But he got some t-shirts. Little memories before we leave Gold Beach. Did you get a different hat? I got the one that you wanted me to get. Let's see, does it fit? It's, and it's much bigger. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. Into the wild. That's pretty cool. Not too exciting. It's just a day in the life of our full-time RV living down in Southern Oregon. And when we run into town, Gold Beach is usually where we go. To get our fresh fish. Do the mail. Propane. Fill up the propane. Diesel. Fill up the diesel. Maybe get a hat or t-shirt. Maybe sometimes we go through and get some food at one of the local restaurants. But it's fun down here. It's not very busy or active yet. The boats aren't running. The salmon aren't fish. Salmon. It's off season. It's, yeah, the salmon are probably still swimming, but it's off season. <laughs> so it's pretty empty in the harbor, but the seals are really cool out there. They're really noisy. I didn't realize they made such gnarly, grumpy noises. The exorcist sounds. Yeah, they yeah. sound like, yeah, they did. They sound like they needed exercised. Exorcisted? What do you, how do you say it? Exercise. Anyway, yeah, they, they needed some help. So we're going to go home and grill up that fresh lean cod that just got caught today. We haven't had lean cod yet. And that sounds good. She said it's a good one to grill. So let's hope the weather holds out and we'll go back to the campground and grill us up some fish. Apparently there was a big rock slide that closed both lanes of Highway 101. So we're taking one of the back roads to get back to the campground. Crystal blue persuasion. Da, 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 da. Well, there's not much to it. I'm going to make a, just a lemon butter sauce, season it, and then we will put the lemon butter sauce over it and grill it. And you can grill it in foil or, or on the grill, and we don't have a good grill. We just have a little grill pan that we use out on our propane it's a camping stove. Not a very good solution, but it's been working for now. I'm multitasking, leave me alone. <laughs> There's a live stream with It's About Time on YouTube. Go and watch them. So I was joining in and it's fun. And now we're cooking ling cod. I'm gonna make a garlic lemon butter dill, maybe, sauce to go over it while Scott's grilling it and but I went ahead and seasoned it. I put olive oil, garlic, sea, sea salt, dill, and lemon pepper. Just, I like things salty and savory, so. And then we're gonna steam some broccoli and call it dinner. So let's see how this lean cod turns out. You don't know how to juggle, and you don't juggle with two. That's, that is funny, because you don't, you have to have three to juggle. I should film you juggling, you're a good juggler. I can't juggle with two. I you can break a cr broccoli three. crown off. Wow. So we're having a kind of healthy dinner. We've got fresh fish, we've got broccoli, and then we're gonna just douse it in butter. So, you know, butter makes everything better. Pretty good if I do say so myself. Till further notice, we'll be eating lean cod and kicking back and watching some Netflix. I think I'm gonna sit up front. 
<laughs> going on a boat ride, babe? Told you we were going to play tourist. <laughs> Those were really harbor seals. It wasn't any bodily functions. Can you do a harbor seal impression? No, no they go a... like this. Yeah. No, that's yeah. a frog. Well. They go. No. They can't do it, but they, they, they're cuter looking than they sound, that's for sure. But recording video with the harbor seals behind you makes it sound like you're having some, uh, noise issues. Intestinal issues. <laughs> Intestinal issues.